hello guys welcome back um just a good quick note because i'm already done with my app and those test stuff i am going to be posting a lot more which is good so let's go to the ai2.appadventure.mit.edu and then let's create a new project um pass data So, as it loads in, I'm kind of going to be talking about what um, what this video is going to be about. This video is going to be about um, passing data through screens because they don't really have, uh, have a function for it. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to go to storage and then we're going to drop this tiny DB. Now, you can read this information yourself. You can pause it here to read about it. Um, it basically stores things into a storage and you can take the value out from another screen So let's drag it on. It's not visible, which is good. So let's go to blocks and click on this Okay, let's review all of these So clear all that means clearing everything in the storage clear tag tag that means clear a ver uh, clear a value with the tag Let's say uh, label one, okay? Call get tags. That's basically getting the um, text and text names of every single tag. Get value tag something, value if not there, blah, blah. Okay, let's say, okay, we, we should go to this one first. It stores a value and let's say my tag would be zero, um, let's say 30. And then value to store, say my name and then if we want to go to another screen we can just call that db1 and then get value tag would be 30 and this block would basically represent the variable my name i think that's what i said yeah my name so yeah that's kind of how tiny db works so let's do something here i'm gonna drag this out and I'm going to drag a button out and I'm going to name it pass variable. Oh, I can't type. Pass variable. And then let's um, center that. I'm going to make the background color that. And I like it to be big. So like that. Perfect. Pass variable. Okay. So now I have... Hmm, what should I do? Let's do a slider. Sliders are fun. So with, let's fill the parent. Um, and I would have a label here. Okay, so color on the left, I'll make it blue and then color on the right, black. Okay, so let me just empty out this text real quick and change the font size by root 25. Okay, now we have three things. We have the button. So. When the button clicks, we have to store a value, okay? To another slide or screen. Okay, Um, when slider one position change, I use this in my app. When the slider's position is changed, like the, the small middle thing that drags, when it's changed, what, what are we gonna do? We are gonna go to slider. Is it? Oh, it's not position. We are gonna set the label text to slider one's thumb position. Remember, the thumb position is like the value, okay? So every single time, it's gonna it's gonna store the thumb position to the text, okay? Now we're gonna store the text into TinyDB. So when the button's clicked, so this button, if this button's clicked, then it's gonna store this value, value to store, this text, and I'm gonna make the tag of, let's say, number. Oh, number. Okay. Um, let's try it out first. So, I just realized that this is not really working, but we'll work with it, okay, first. So, so if we drag it, oh yes, 
Oh, it's working. Okay, well, that's hot. So as you can see, when we drag it, the number changes. That's basically the value of the thumb position. When I drag it to the left, it's getting smaller. When I drag it to the right, it's getting larger. So let's set our variable to be 40. And then let's pass the variable. I mean, it's not gonna change anything yet, but we are gonna open another screen, okay? And um, the screen name is gonna be screen two because if you automatically add a screen, the name is just screen and then the number. Okay, screen two, when we click on the button, so it automatically brings us to the next screen. Screen two. Loading, loading, perfect. Now, I'm gonna display the save label. Number. It's just a really simple thing, but we're gonna set label one's text to, oh, I forgot to drag TinyDB in. Storage, TinyDB, drag it in, go back to blocks, go to TinyDB, you get value, tag, the tag was number, I think. Number. And when do we wanna call this? When, when, let me see if I go, oh, it's right here. Screen two. When screen two is initialized, when we open screen two. Now let's go back to screen one. Okay. So let's select it to 10, pass variable. 10. Okay. Well, let's go back to screen one. Hmm, 50. Yay, it works. Okay. This is just a simple app to explain how to carry variables on to other screens using um, the starry storage tiny db um it might be a little bit confusing at first but um make sure to read like the description and everything's gonna be fine make sure you spell the tag correct and yeah hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one